out here, it's unlike any place you've ever been. Villagers make everything they own, and they only make what they need. There's thought and care in every detail. Generations past, present, and future learn the same techniques. And they take these stories and turn them into art. This is their soil. These are their roots. I've been living and working in India for almost seven years. One of the things that broke my heart the most was to see all these artists leave their homes and search for a market that could appreciate their dying arts. But what if instead we could bring the market to their homes so they didn't have to abandon their culture, their art, and their way of life? So we had this idea. We brought computers and scanners into these villages and we trained our artists to digitize these designs into high resolution. Then it's stored into an online repository so it can be viewable by anyone around the world. We're creating a way for millions of unreached, isolated cultural artists to connect to a global market through design licensing without having to ever leave their homes. And when I see a work of ours on a wall, hanging on a way, I think about how far that piece has traveled and I smile because every piece we sell is a window to a thoughtful and creative world. And that's a good view to share. My name is Rebecca. I'm the CEO and founder of Roots Studio. We're a for-profit social enterprise that connects millions of unreached, isolated artists to a $7 billion art and design licensing market through digitization. We spent years working and living in these areas, setting up community organizing processes, setting up design centers, computers, and scanners. Root Studio trains these artists to digitize these designs that have never been seen before and put them into an online repository. The key to what we do is that we transact digitally. So compared to a lot of the organizations out there with great intentions for sourcing cultural art, we bypass a heavy supply chain. We don't have to deal with shipping, inventory, or overhead. This allows us to save 60% of our costs and truncate the process between the, inner, between the artist and the end consumer. So one might ask, who uses a design asset like this? Root Studio creates a platform for designers within retailers to use these designs through a large repository that can be licensed easily. So for example, say Starbucks needs a way to distinguish their holiday cups. They go to Root Studio, they find a design that suits their needs, pay $200 per design. Root Studio receives 50% in royalties over two years. Starbucks then is spreading the mission and the story of these artists on millions of cups, and Root Studio receives $200,000. Shutterstock completely changed the way that photographers were able to license their pho uh, photographs. They're a $1.2 billion company. No one has done this for cultural art. Root Studio is going to do it. <laughs> Over many years, We've digitized over 700 pieces from Panama, Syria, India, and Indonesia. These are pieces that did not have prices where they were, at best could have been sold for about $5, now have over an average lifetime value of $1,000, a 200 times increase in the value of the art because of recurring royalties. In just two quarters, we've had over 800 customers and we've had $312,000 in grant funding. And the artists are receiving 400% more profits through Root Studio's involvement. In 2018, we're going to build the world's first cultural design library for licensing, and we're going to hit $20 million in revenue.
We currently have pilots, and we're expanding in areas where art forms are at the brink of extinction because of war and devastation. We're taking these endangered art forms, and we're going to triple our repository by 2018. If what you've heard today resonates with you, come find us and join us. At Root Studio, we believe that there are art forms that have no price where they reside, but we want to bring them to markets that find them priceless. Thank you.